Okay, here we go. Renault's car launch. Let's do it. I can't wait for this. I'm such a... I'm, I really do love the Renault cars. Right, we've got Jolian... Oh, Jolian Palmer, the legend. Why did they remove him from F1? Ooh, the 2017 launch car, of course. Gotta, gotta include that 2017 beauty. Right, now, what we got? Why has everyone got turbines? They've got stupid windmill turbines in every one of their things. Right, here we go. Palmer and Hulkenberg. Jolian Palmer's all we care about. He is the lord of F1. Here we go. Right. I'm guessing it's just going to go through all of 20, like, Renault's previous, like, history, and then it's going to move on to the 2019 car. Here we go. Hulkenberg on K-Mag. Why not? Get them a little bit happy. So oh, my God. Palmer on Bottas in Singapore. That is what we call Godspeed and God overtaking from Palmer in the wet as well. And now we've got 2018. This is obviously the year for Sainz and Hulkenberg. I don't really care about any of this. All I care about is their car. There is their engine. Why is there no smoke? Honestly, I thought the Renault engine would be smoking right now. Oh, there's smoke. Look, we'll pretend that was um, Renault smoke. That battle doing. Yeah, that, that's great. Uh, Hulkenberg hanging like a cow. I just don't really care about that. All I really care about is your car. Highs and lows. Everything like that. Can I just can I just see the car now? Can I can I see the new machine? Here we go. 2019. The new car. Hulkenberg alongside Daniel Ricciardo. One of my most favourite lineups so far this season. Here we go. What have you got for me? Here it is. Renault car. Uh, that's it. Is that it? That's the video. Renault. You forgot the car. Never mind the stuff in the past. You forgot the car. I literally just stopped recording and now Renault have put out another video. I literally just made that meme and they've gone ahead and done another video. This might actually genuinely be the Renault car for the first time now. Here we go. Yeah, this is definitely the... Ooh, still black and yellow. I like the black and yellow theme anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Ooh I, no, I don't want to see the stuff in the past. I want to see the present, e.g. now. Ooh, okay. What we got? What we got? Come on. Give me something sexy. Technology finds a new gear. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, no. I rate that. That's really nice. Fair play. GG. I like that. Let's get some pictures up. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Foxy98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today, Renault have officially unveiled their F1 2019 car. And uh, it's very much a very similar livery to last year. However, as you can see, there are a few changes here and there. Straight away, my opinion, I love the car. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's like, it's my favorite livery so far. I really do like the Renault liveries, and it's a lot more, it's definitely more bold, it stands out more, and it's really, really good. So, um, yeah, this is the official RS19, and uh, it is here for you guys in front. So, what do we have in terms of changes then? Well, first of all, obviously, the black and yellow stays the same. However, uh, everything around that black and yellow theme has sort of had a couple of little minor tweaks. I'm not going to lie, it looks very, very similar to last year, don't get me wrong. There are a few things that are, like, a little bit different here and there. Um, and overall, I think it's just a nice refreshment, a bit of a refinement from last year. Of course, we had Toro Rosso, which was just, well, the same. And the Honda logo is bigger. Whereas this Renault car, it's the same livery, but it's just a little bit more, like I said, refined. A bit more fresh, a little bit more updated uh, compared to last year. But um, let's start getting into some other shots now and see if we can break down a few little bits about the car and move forwards. Now, the main picture I actually wanted to use was this one because this kind of actually simplifies what the cars are going to look like in 2019 in general. This car clearly does show that the rear wing is that much bigger. Um, I'm going to put my opinion out there. I actually don't like the new rear wing um, that they're producing. Obviously, I know it's not really much different to last year, apart from it's a little bit bigger and a little bit, a bit bigger in both ways, in terms of it's taller and it's a little bit bigger in terms of its width and height, both in the same way. Um, but I don't know, I feel like the overall wing itself just looks a bit too big. I don't know what it is, in my opinion, I don't really like it that much, but you know what, it is what it is and I'll get used to it eventually because I got used to the Halo, so there you go. Um, in terms of the Renault car though, um, very much very similar style to what they did last year. And I don't really know what type of uh, um, spec this car is. I don't know if it's like the 2019 front wing with the 2018 car and stuff like that. So obviously we've got all of the front wing stuff in there um, that we've seen in the past. And obviously the rear wing looking taller and more refined than that front. Um, but um, yeah, they're pretty much just very similar to 2018. They're not really that much different. Apart from, the only difference that I did notice was come towards the rear of the car. First of all, uh, the size of the car. Now, as we have a look at the chassis going down towards the engine cover of the rear wing, uh, this year, for me, in my opinion, 
Um, it looks a little bit skinnier compared to last year. I don't know if it's just me that thinks that, um, but it definitely looks a little bit skinnier to what it was in previous years. I feel like they've managed to slim down the car a little bit. One thing that Renault had to sacrifice with a lot, especially last year, was the size of their power unit. Of course, with McLaren last year, they wanted to go with a nice skinny chassis, um, and the Renault power unit was just too big for the car, so the McLaren had to basically adjust to this power unit. Um, and whereas I feel like this year, I feel like the Renault car just looks a little bit skinnier. Also with the rear wing as well, you can see the end plates, uh, they stick out a lot more than the actual rear wing flap itself. Uh, of course, the end plates on the inside are um, bright yellow this time, and also on the uh, front wing end plates as well. They're also bright yellow, but um, they do stick out a little bit more uh, compared to the others. Um, and just overall, it's just another one of those refined updates for 2018. But um, straight away, I'm going to put this out there. This is my favorite livery so far. Um, I loved it, the livery last year, and I feel like they've improved on it this year. And uh, overall, the car looks decent. It looks very nice. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know if you like the livery, if you don't like the livery. Rate it out of 10, whatever you want to do. Um, but here it is, guys. This is the RS 2019. I'm not really going to talk about it too much because I gave you my live reaction in the recording. That was my first time I'd seen it. Now I'm going back and post commentating these pictures. There's not really, honestly, loads to talk about. Like I said, you've seen all of it. You've seen the front wing. You've seen the brakes. The rear wings changed. A couple of little tweaks to the end plates that I've seen. Uh, and also, uh, the uh, side part overall just looks nice and skinny. But uh, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to drop it a like. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. And it's best if you do subscribe because tomorrow we've got three car launches which we're going to be covering. So we're going to be uploading the Mercedes, the Red Bull, and the Racing Points. You're getting a triple upload tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Until tomorrow, take care all. Peace.